Here's on his saddle and leaping, and he beheld a lady gay, a lady that was brisk and bold, came riding o'er the bunny bray. Her skirt was of the grass green silk, her mantle of the velvet fine, and every lock of her horse's mane hung fifty silver bells at night. Her time as he pulled off his cap and bowed him low. bell number 37 through thomas the rhymer i never really thought much of this ballad but it turns out to have a ridiculously extensive history um it is based on a real person who lived from 1220 to about 1298 known as thomas of ursuldoon he lived in earlston which is was called ursuldoon in the borders and there's a lot of literature about him but there is a legend that he met with the queen of elfland and she took him to serve her for seven years. Some say they were paramours, some say they weren't. And after he came back, she gave him the gift of foresight. So he could see the future, and he had the inability to tell a lie. So he was considered a prophet in his time. <laughs> um, there is a lot. I, I've heard that uh, J.R. Tolkien was a big fan of this ballad. And there are five, maybe six different versions that uh, Francis Child wrote down. So it's very popular. It became a ballad around 1400, but it didn't, I mean, it was, it was a romance in 1400, but it wasn't really a ballad until about 1700, but people aren't really sure about that. So yeah, that's the story of Thomas the Rhymer. See you guys. <laughs>